you know what Texas is playing some of its best softball right now uh, they were they just came off of a College World Series appearance last spring and I think uh, to start off the season this uh, this year they were struggling to find their identity early however I think they found it and they've really settled in they have a freshman on the mound who's doing really well for them who uh, uh, looked to she had to take over a starting role and um, she has 12 losses and I think she probably had most of those early in the in the season as she was trying to feel her way through what it meant to be um, depended on day in and day out um, so I, I think they are uh, well coached well prepared playing some of their best softball and having come off of the of a college world series appearance last year of course they're um, I'm sure they're very confident and and having been there and knowing what it takes to be there and to get there again you had I mean you didn't want the extra practice time but you got a lot since the last SC tournament how have y'all handled it getting ready for regionals you know I think we've actually had some really some of our best practices these last two days the girls are uh, very uh, motivated, highly working very hard, pushing themselves mentally and physically and each other. Uh, I've been impressed with our um, our practice focus. At this point of the year, a lot of times the girls just want to roll the balls out and uh, just kind of coast through the postseason practice, but I still feel like we're getting better every every practice and we had we've had two really good practice. We did take two days off after the SEC tournament. Um, and then we've had two really good practices yesterday and today, and hopefully one more tomorrow before we uh, get on the road. Back in the winter, you were talking about the expectations for this freshman class coming in. I mean, now that I guess the regular season's over, how have they kind of lived up to those and uh, expectations you kind of set up for them? Well, we had two um, all SEC freshman team members, Alexis Silkwood and Caroline Sites. They've been staples in the lineup all year. Um, Silkwood's done a good job in a supporting role for Allison Owen out there, and um, she's had two huge SEC wins, a shutout against Tennessee. They, they have only got shut out twice this year, once against us, once against Kentucky, um, and then a huge win against Auburn. Uh, so she's, you know, done a really good job in the circle for, as a freshman. And then Caroline Seitz has been a staple at third base, started every game over there. She's been a staple in the offensive lineup, hitting a three, anywhere from three, four, or five all year long. Um, leads our team in doubles, batting average, just uh, one, just very consistent there. And then as of late, Katie Ann Bailey's really turned it on for us, uh, hit that um, game-tying triple or double that scored three runs against Kentucky at the SEC tournament. Uh, and she had two game winners, one against Alabama and one against Kentucky early in the year. So um, the freshmen have been instrumental in our success. We also have Mackenzie Toller who has had some – a pinch hit. She had a pinch hit at Grand Slam against Arkansas, and a um, pinch hit, a hit, just a hit against Arkansas as well. Both pinch hits off the bench, which is uh, is, is an extremely tough role to play uh, to get the, come in and get those pinch hits. So the freshman class has uh, done, you know, what we recruited them to do, and they've been special. And I've told this group all along that they. Uh, if they stick together and they build upon their classmatemanship, I don't know if that's a word, uh, but that they can, they will do something very special in their time here. But you said all year how SEC weekends are like super regionals and now you're already postseason. It has to have prepared you about as well as it can. Well, the they the SEC took 11 squads to the NCAA postseason. The NCAA took 11 squads, 11 SEC teams. The next closest is five from the Pac-12 and five from the Big Ten. Um, if that doesn't solidify my statements all along, I don't know what would. Uh, you know, it takes uh, three games if you stay in the winner's bracket, and we play a three-game weekend every weekend, and then you go into the best of – best of three series for Super Regionals. So uh, we, we've definitely, we played eight ranked opponents this year um, uh, in the league. We played seven uh, ranked opponents in the league. And the only opponent we did not play, that we did, that we played that was not ranked was Arkansas. Uh, so we, I mean, we've been there, we've, we're prepared, everybody at this point. There are a lot of, there's what, 290 softball teams and only 64 getting to have the talk to the media today 
and um, really excited about that opportunity. And so everybody's good from this point forward. About the news, it does. Even though you've done it twice before, does it ever get old seeing your name flash up for the NCAA's? No, it never gets old. Um, if any of y'all got to see the video, we were obviously very, very excited. Um, I think it's huge for this program to go, you know, three years in a row. And um, we're looking forward to coming out of that regional, you know, going to the World Series. Um, but, you know, we're going to take game by game, step by step, work the process. Um, you know, it's postseason. Everyone that makes it the postseason is good enough to be in the postseason. You can't take any team lightly. So we're just going to go in, um, you know, work our games, face our opponent, um, and focus on us. So, yeah, we're really, really excited. What Have you had a chance to look at Texas yet? Yes, we have. Um, I know um, we've seen a couple of their games, and, you know, the, the hitters have been focusing on what they need to focus on and um, what they're expecting. But then again, you know, any team can come out and be any team at any given time. So we're just going to focus on our process and our game. Um, like I said, you know, stay on us and um, just come out swinging the bat and throwing good pitches. Do you like how coaches arrange the rotation or work in the way between you and Alexis there, getting, getting you both your chances out there? Yeah, yeah. Um, the beautiful thing about our staff is J.C. Punches and Shanna Sherrod have also been throwing really, really well. So it doesn't matter who's on the mound. You know, we're going to be spinning the ball well, and we're going to be focusing on what we need to do to help our team. So I think our pitching staff is really, really good right now. Our mindset's really, uh, really level-headed and just ready to get into regionals and start working some more on some live at-bats. Talk about the third straight regional. How much does that help just have the experience? I mean, I know last year was your first at MSU to play in. Yeah. But having done it before, I mean, how much more comfortable are people? Um, I think that this team knows our potential, and they know that if we play Mississippi State softball, we can beat anybody out there. So um, it's exciting to get into a regional, but we're looking forward to um, kind of taking that extra step and making it out of a regional. So. That's our goal is just to focus on us and play, you know, the three components, pitching, offense, and defense. Just to focus on those three, stay on us, and um, play our game. And I'm just really excited. Yeah. <laughs> well, this should be your first time in NCAAs compared to AO and the others have been there before. What have they told you to expect? Um, you know, I don't think we – we really haven't talked about it that much. It's just to go in every game as the same. Don't expect more from one game. Just to have the same attitude towards every game and don't have a bigger – over prepare, just prepare, focus on us and don't focus on anything else. What was your reaction when you saw Texas come up there with your, your obviously your family ties there? Um, you know, it's just any other game really, Texas. I'm kind of excited because my dad played there, but really it's just an, any old game going to ULL to play anyone. Did he say anything about it? No, he just, his <laughs> response was wow. That's really it. He didn't really have a response. Well, how do you feel y'all are playing at this point? I think we're hitting very well. The past couple days we've had a lot of power at practice and you know we had a couple off days with traveling back and then we got a couple off days when we got back and it's just coming back really strong and really refreshed. We're hitting really well right now, feeling really confident. Obviously you had a, you had a big year. Did you expect it to be how it's been? In postseason? Or like you and you, this whole season for you personally? Um, you know, you always come into it hoping you're going to have a really good year, but you never really know exactly how it's going to go. But just trusting in your team and your coaches, I think, is really what made me have the year that I have. And just I always go back to confidence. I always think if you have confidence in yourself, you're always going to you can have the year that you think you can have if you have confidence in yourself.